Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new, I am Amy. I have a 17 month old son and I am currently pregnant with our first daughter who is due in November. Today I'm gonna be sharing how I meal plan for two weeks at a time. So if you are new, we are military. So we budget everything out for two weeks at a time, which is what our military pay period is. And this includes snacks, lunches, breakfast, and dinners for, for our family of three. If you are new and you enjoy videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are not already. So the first thing I do when I'm getting ready to sit down and meal plan and write out our grocery list for the next couple of weeks is I will go through the pantry and the refrigerator, see what we have that I can use for meals already, and I will also go through JJ snacks and lunch options and see if we already have things so that we don't overbuy. Because it's really easy to go to the store and just and just buy new snacks and new options for lunch, but then you're doubled up and you're spending more money than you should. So I have my list here of things that we have in the pantry that I can use to make for meals. And then this actually says grocery list. I have two of them. So I decided to use one for my meal plan though. And then, so this one I'll write down all the groceries that I'm needing. But this one, as you can see, I just wrote down breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinners. So each box I'm gonna write like what we'll have for breakfast, lunches, snacks, and then what all of our dinners are gonna be. So these are really convenient and I love having them to use. My husband just put these together on the computer for me and printed them out. So you can easily do this yourself at no cost and have a really easy like meal plan and grocery list to go by. And then this is what my meal plan one looks like. So as you can see, I have the same thing, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And then I have it labeled every day and then I just wrote the date next to it. As you can see, a couple things got like crossed out and switched around. This is what I've been doing for the week and it makes it really easy in the morning to just look at it and pull out something for JJ for breakfast and same for lunches because I hate giving him the same thing every single day. So if I write this out, then he gets like a good variety of his snacks and lunches and all of that. So, and this is something that my husband also put together on the computer for me. So now that I've gone through everything that we have, I'm gonna sit down and write out what we're gonna have for breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner for the next two weeks. I always start off with breakfast, lunch, and snacks because it's the easiest. And a lot of the time we kind of have the same thing for breakfast and lunches. So it's really easy to write out that. So I always start off with that and then I will do dinners last. One thing that I wanted to mention in this video that I forgot to mention later is when I plan out our dinners, we usually try to do one or two nights where we grill out. So we will pick out like a nice steak or even just do chicken sometimes and put it in a really good marinade. And then we'll pick out good sides to go with it like baked beans or corn on the cob or a vegetable that we really like like asparagus. And that's a good way to help us from going out to eat if we know that we have a really good meal to make at home on the weekends. So this is what I have so far. Pancakes, eggs and fruit, yogurt and fruit, and cereal. Those are all options for JJ. For myself, I've been loving bagels or English muffins. So I have those and I'll also get myself a box of cereal. And then I put grits on here for me and JJ as well. And then my husband usually just eats oatmeal for breakfast. And then for lunches, mac and cheese slash pasta salad for JJ. And then he can either have hot dogs or chicken nuggets to go with one of those two. I kind of like mix them up a little bit. For myself, I usually like the rice -roni or pasta -roni pastas and rice because they're super easy to make. And it's just kind of like what I've been loving lately for lunches and also leftovers. And then for my husband, he usually eats a salad or leftovers for lunch as well. And then snacks for JJ are peanut butter and jelly bars from Trader Joe's and the cereal bars from Trader Joe's. He really likes these. They're probably like his favorite and they fill him up really well. So I like giving him these um, animal crackers and then cheese and fruit for JJ. Those are some of his favorites as well. And then chips and or crackers for me and my husband and then yogurt covered raisins for JJ as well. And then of course I have to get some cookies and chocolate for myself because that's what I've been craving at night after dinner. So now all I have left is to figure out the meals. So for meals, I will look at the calendar and see how many days we have for our like two week paycheck period and then figure out how many meals we need. I usually put somewhere between like two and four days 
of eating out for the weekends because we usually eat it out on the weekends. So I always add that in there so I don't buy extra meals when I know we're gonna go out to eat anyways. So usually it's somewhere between like nine and 12 meals that I need. And then I usually put about two or three days for eating out. So I'm gonna go back to my list over here and see if I can use any of this to make some meals for dinner just to kind of like keep it a little bit cheaper and use up what we have instead of buying just more stuff and just making our pantry even more full. Okay, so here are my dinners. I ended up needing 13 meals total. So we have orzo pasta, which I'll do like a lemon sauce to go on top of that. I'll make grilled chicken and then some kind of vegetable. Crock pot chicken and gravy, and then I do white rice with that. Enchilada soup, chili pineapple chicken, and I also put rice with that. Fried rice, cheesy chicken and rice, which I add broccoli to. That's just like a one pot meal on the stove. It's really easy and really yummy. Spicy ranch quesadillas, beef and broccoli. I do the flank steaks and broccoli over white rice and then I do I make like a teriyaki sauce to mix it all up in. We'll do tacos one night and then one night we will grill out. So we'll probably buy like some steaks and vegetables, maybe some corn on the cob to go for that night. Cheese tortellini, which, which I'll make an Alfredo sauce to go over that and then we put bacon in it. Um, steak salad, so we'll just make a regular salad and put some steak over it and then spaghetti. So those are gonna be our meals for the next two weeks. Okay, so here is my grocery list. Everything fit in the little boxes pretty well. So here I just have dairy and frozen stuff because they're like the aisles are right next to each other. So these are the frozen things we need. And then we just need some heavy whipping cream for my Alfredo sauce and then coffee creamer. These are all the dry products. Some of the things that I knew were right next to each other on the aisle, I would just put together on one line so that everything fit and so that I just look at it when I'm on that aisle. So I have all of the stuff. This is all for meals. And then produce and breads. So we just have some like vegetables, all the stuff for salads, then corn on the cob for when we grill out. And then I just put the bread down here. We just need tortillas. And then I'm gonna pick out some bagels or English muffins for me. And then over here I have all the meat. So we have seven meals that we're gonna need chicken for. So I will just look when I get there and get the best deal on the package of chicken. And then two things of flank steaks for meals, bacon, steaks to grill out, and then two packs of ground beef. And then these are just some extra things we always get, paper towels, dog food, and then Cokes because if you guys watch my channel, you know I drink Coke like crazy. So we always have to pick up Coke when we go grocery shopping. And then I will just, when I'm there, I'll just pick up like, We'll pick out some chips and crackers for like snacks and things like that and we'll get whatever and then we'll get like whatever fresh fruit they have for JJ to snack on. So that's pretty much how we do it. And then also over here I just wrote lunches. So that'll be like back over here that'll be like mac and cheese and some pasta for pasta salad which we actually already have so I'm not going to need to get anything for that. And then I'll just pick out some like boxed pasta meals and rice for like myself for lunches. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe got some tips on how to better meal plan for your family or even got some meal or snack ideas because I know it is hard to to come up with meals and snacks and lunches because I just sometimes I just feel like we're eating the same thing over and over again. A lot of the ideas for dinners that I come up with are from Pinterest. So Pinterest is like my best friend when it comes to meal planning. I'm always looking on there, looking for new ideas and new things to try. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.